Habari family, welcome to our channel, Sincerely Faith. If you haven't already, please visit our website, SincerelyFaith.com, where we make small batch candles, body butter, room fragrances, wax melts. Just check out our website, show support. Everything is handmade. The company is based out of North Carolina now, but our adult children are handling logistics. So if you place an order, you will receive your products in the States. My name is Tanya, and again, thank you for joining us. Today's video is about us spending the day with Mark Meets Africa. We were fortunate enough to spend the day with him. We went out to the orphanage and then had lunch, and afterwards we were able to get a quick interview with him. So this video is about the interview, and then here shortly we'll upload the interview showing the visit to the orphanage. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Yes, I have poo-poo, and it wasn't, it was, um, I can't remember what it was. What type of vlogger comes up? Y'all do it. <laughs> wow. What and type Mark, of what do you have? I don't know. Um, yeah, I thought I had spaghetti <laughs> bolognese or whatever they call it, but uh, this is not how they <laughs> present it normally. All right, so hello family. Habari, familia. <laughs> I'm here interviewing Mark. Mark meets Africa. Yeah. So Mark, we spent the day with him. We are exhausted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark had a time we've been all over. Mark, can you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Give yeah. us an introduction. Okay. Which I want to know. Well, what made you come to Africa? It was a, a feeling I got. I think we all had that feeling. Mm -hmm. And it said come. And before we knew it, we were on a plane here. Yeah. I say for me, it was a uh, West Africa at first, and then something happened where it said that's not the place. The borders closed, and I looked at Kenya, looked down, and it was Tanzania, and here I am, and haven't left since. A year and a half. Okay. What have you been up to? I've been doing my thing. Come on now. <laughs> that's a long video. Uh -huh. but some of the things, you know, just business, we're doing community building here. I'm trying to work with the community. I'm trying to work with our brothers and sisters here. And you know, we're trying to get a feel for this place as well as understand the culture and build on it. Yeah. You know, we need to understand that not everything is okay here. That's why we're here. Just like not everything is okay where we come from, that's, that's right. why we're here. Why we're here. So yeah. either way it goes, we can only go up. That's right. But that's we right. need to have a community mindset. We need to have a work together mindset, build each other mindset. We can't get over on each other all the time. You have a lot of brothers and sisters who get over on each other. You got a lot of brothers and sisters here in Tanzania who are Tanzanian who get over on each other. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of work to do. So when you say, what's my purpose here? It's see what I can do. That's it. And follow what I'm told or what I feel. You know, whatever you believe in. Yes. Whether it's the Ketenge spirits, Jesus, the, mm -hmm. the, the ancestors, mm -hmm. The river gods, the star lords, the you know Darth Vader, whoever yeah, you believe in, yeah. you follow what you believe. You follow because some people say the ancestors brought them here. Others say Jesus brought them here. Other, but everyone's here. The people that are here, whatever voice they heard, they're here. So, any advice you would give um, diasporas? I'm coming to Tanzania or coming to Africa? Keep an open mind and don't expect anything. If you expect something, you're going to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. You have to be flexible. You have to want to change a little. You yes. can't come somewhere new and expect to do the same old thing. Change a lot. A lot. For some people, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. For others, they, you know, they found their healing in the States. Mm -hmm. They were able to do that before coming. But a lot of people need that healing when they come here. But you gotta realize you gotta bend or you're gonna break. Right? So you gotta give yourself a little room to change, a little room to do something different. You can't come here and say, Well, what I was doing in the States didn't work, so let me try it here. That's nonsense. So a lot of us have to, you know, come here and realize that we are in a different place. It's a different start, it's a different future, it's a different course, it's a different trajectory, if you will. We need to be on that different trajectory and embrace it. We have to do something different to get different results. Because in a way, we're kind of going back in time coming here. So it's like a chance to redo what went wrong for black people. Right. And if we can't redo what went wrong, then we'll be 
you know, forced to make the same mistake here as our mothers and fathers and grandfathers did there. Don't you tell me it wasn't recorded. Oh, it was. Okay. <laughs> I wish I would. <laughs> no, it was recording. I was trying to turn the volume up. I just want to make sure. Okay. Was, but, but you're good. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the uh, orphanage, just the, quickly. The one we just went to? Well, mm -hmm. um, the one we just went to or the one that you, with the boys at your home? Whichever one. Okay. Let me start with the one we just went to. Okay. Now, the one we just went to, I've been going to since I've come here. I mm -hmm. said this is probably my 22nd time going there. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that the children see the same faces over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And you got to say, hey, you're my brother, you're my sister, I'm going yeah. to be here. Yeah. You know, we go there, we bring things, we try to improve the situation, and it has gotten better. We've gotten them support. There's other people involved now on and off camera. Okay. So the orphanage that I have at home, I wouldn't even call it an orphanage. It's just me and my brother. Your brothers. Okay. We took them off. The, well, who am I saying? Yeah, we took them off the streets, and they lived some of them we got them home, some of them we got them solutions, some of them we got them jobs, but we're trying to solve their problems. I'd like to start, I wouldn't even call it an orphanage, but I'd like to start a project for them. They're Something. they my babies. Those are my baby brothers. Yeah. I even tell the big ones, as long as you're younger than me, and as long as, you know, yeah, that's my brother. If you see your brother needs help, there's no question, are you hungry? Let's go eat. Do you need this? Let's go get it. Yeah. You don't question. If it was your real brother on the street, you wouldn't question. Do I have to feed him? Should I do that? No, it's no question. Let's go, man. Let's go eat. There's no question. So with them, it was the same thing. I was walking one day, saw it, and that day, I sat down. We had a meal. It was nighttime. Mm -hmm. Next day, came back. Next day, came back. Next day, came back. I'm one and a half, maybe two months behind on the business projects that I've got going on because I've taken on these other projects or this other project, which is kind of sort of got a cut right there. Okay. Yeah. Which has kind of sort of pushed me back on my other things, but I don't regret that okay. because it's important. This is important, building the lives of the youth, the future, because we are here to build the future, so right. let's build the future and let's do it, you know, very, very well. So I say, if nobody else is helping me, I'm going to help. I don't need a permit to say, you know, you're allowed to help. I don't need, I don't need approval to say you can go help. That's Imagine right. needing permission to help people. That's mm -hmm. not okay. If you could tell the diaspora that's here, you know, all the diaspora that's, that's come over and doing their own thing, whatever, what do you want to tell everyone? That's easy. Okay. Unite. You said it perfectly. They're over here doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. And because they're doing their own, what's up with you, man? Did you ruin my flow? <laughs> He's thinking his tongue out and all this stuff, and I'm thinking to myself, what the heck is he doing? Anyway. No, I'm just like, you were doing the tongue thing. It was a little, I'm like. <laughs> Anyways, but I would say unite. We have to unite. Because if we don't come together and we continue to do our own thing while here, while all claiming that we're here to build a community, that's anti-community development. Mm -hmm. If we continue on that path, we're going to end up just like we were in America, divided, divided. and confused. Mm -hmm. And when we look up and say, there's nothing for us here, nobody's built anything, everybody's doing something on their own, everyone wants their own piece of something, mm -hmm. when really it's just, we have to accept a, a smaller piece mm -hmm. of something larger. Because yeah. I say like this, I'd rather own 10% of a million dollar company than 100% of a zero dollar company. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, which one's productive? Mm -hmm. I'll take my 10% and turn it into something for myself if I really need that. But we have an issue in our community with titles. We want to be seen, we want to be known, we want to be important. And when we're not, we try to do it. Even if it means the opportunity is right in front of us and we choose not to because we think we'll do it on our own and we think we'll do it better. 10 years go by, 30 years go by, and we've done nothing. Mm. And then we look up and say, why? Well, because I had the opportunity to go and be a part of something bigger mm -hmm. and chose to do it myself. And a lot of us don't know business, so we end up keeping that mentality while not knowing what we're doing. And again, 30 years can easily go by until somebody realizes like, shoot, I'd rather just be a part of something else. Mm -hmm. By then they're too tired, they're too, you know, life's hit them. Yeah. They don't have the same energy. They don't have the same mindset to that project. They think, well, you know what? 
there was a time, now it's over. Mm -hmm. And they've wasted their time. Instead of saying, I want to be a part of a greater cause. Yeah. The unification of our people is the greater cause. If we continue to be divided, we will fail. That's right. Sorry for the long winded no, answer. No, no, no. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. you having me answer. No, that was it. Um, Mark, you know, I'll be touching base with you in the next probably four to six weeks so we can try to get out to the uh, orphanage again, try okay. to go visit the kids and take some rice beans yeah. and maybe some clothes. Do that so I'll be touching, I'll be touching um, bases with you. I might take them all by then. You might what? Take, take them all. Yeah, I'm trying to build something in the village so they can have some base to run. Yeah. And I'm going to take them and I'm going to take their mamas too. Yes, because okay. yeah. at the end of the day, that's not a productive situation. Yeah. It's like pouring water into a cup with holes in it. Yeah. When I see their situation and I see like our uh, sister from Canada, she's over here saying things like, where's the mats we got though? Mm -hmm. And I really do have to look and say, yeah, where are the mats? What, what, what happened? They're not building. They're not growing. The situation's the same. There's no mm -hmm. development. There's no, you know, nothing's changing. Mm -hmm. Again, pouring water into a cup with holes in it. It's a yeah. temporary solution to a permanent problem. So we need to fix their problem. Not, I wouldn't even call it fix the problem. We have to develop them. You know? That's right. Mm -hmm. You don't want to jump in and do everything and handicap them. And nope. help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not do everything. Empower. That's empower. That's right. That word. Empower, not devour. That's right. That's right. Very good. Thank you so okay. much, Mark. I Thank you. It. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> family and back I hope you enjoyed the video so you know I always try to give my words of wisdom at the end of the video uh, today I want to talk about being a helping hand it's nothing wrong with being united and joining forces working together and being a help because after all we are here to help so come together be united and help if we could if we join forces and come together we can move mountains as opposed to us working alone it's just a little harder when we try to work alone. Let's make this a little easier and come together. Thank you, family. Until next time.